M. Eugene is Leslie Chong. Leslie, good morning. Hi, Andrew. Good to see you, Leslie. Big morning here for you. Two critical FDA IND approvals uh, you've announced this morning. Clearly, you've been working on these for some time. Talk us through the, the significance of them. Right, so uh, this is our first FDA IND for both products, um, sponsored IND, in fact, for Hervax, you know, it's already been in the clinic, it's, it's been IND approved in several different countries, but not yet to the US and this, so this is, we're thrilled that Hervax also gets a shot at running trials in the US. And then of course, our oncolytic viral therapy, Vaccinia, this is the parental virus, this is the one that's the most powerful. And I can tell you, when you go through the rigor of the FDA IND, um, it is uh, almost nearly, you know, deemed safe even before you put it into patients. And this is now a license for us to start our trials. So you've now had, is it four FDA IND approvals this year? Just this year alone, uh, my team has been busy. Um, like I said, all FDA INDs go through a rigor of toxicology test. And so that could take months, if not sometimes a year. And during the the COVID, it was a little bit difficult to get a virus into a lab. Um, and so when, with the easing of its restrictions, we were finally able to complete our toxicology. And with vaccinia, our oncolytic viral therapy, we had to submit not only intratumoral safety, but also intravenous safety. So whew, it, was a, it was a whirlwind to try to get it in. And I am just exuberant and to the moon that we have our INDs for Hervax and Vaccinia. Well, tell us a bit more, Leslie, as far as what's planned with these two studies. So with Vaccinia, this is the oncolytic virus that has an extreme prejudice against solid tumors. So we're gonna put this into many, many different solid tumor types. So this is where we get to showcase how good our oncolytic virus can infiltrate and kill solid tumors. So that's going to start, which is so exciting. And that study is immense in that it goes into solid tumors and intratumoral, as well as intravenous. As soon as we clear a safety dose with a certain amount of patients, we go right into a combination. So that's just spectacular. And that's going to be in the US and Australia. With Hervax, we are looking at patients who have already failed a approved therapy called Herceptin or Tratuzumab. So these failed patients will come on. And, and in fact, we wanna ensure that their, their HER2 proliferation is turned on, making that cold tumor hot again, so that when we add Hervax plus Pembrolizumab, we just, uh, we just kill their gastric cancer. And so clearly a, a significant potential partner here. Uh, well, you know, um, I always talk about the Dan's card, right? And that's one of many Dan's cards that uh, we are slowly but surely filling. Well, 2021, Leslie, uh, it's been busy for you, but 2022 by the looks shaping up to be even busier. I have to say 2021 was just uh, spectacular. I mean, it were fireworks of announcements everywhere. You can anticipate that in 2022, you're gonna see me a lot more because there's gonna be a lot more announcement. 2022 is actually going to blow 2021 away in terms of all the work that we're doing. But before the end of the year, you're set to be uh, included in the ASX 200. That's just around the corner. Isn't that spectacular? So on the 3rd of December, we were told that we would be entering into ASX 200. And on the 20th of uh, next Monday, a week now, um, we will be on the ASX 200, top 200 companies in Australia. Can you believe it? It's just amazing. Nice way to round out the year. Leslie, good to see you. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks, Andrew.